dear students today i am going to discuss about the haploid production androgenesis anther and macrospore culture so first of all i would like to discuss about the androgenesis so androgenesis is the process through which we can produce the haploid plants so there are two approaches for the production of haploid plant in vivo approach and in vitro approach so haploid plants are those having only a single set of chromosomes in this sporophyte stage of the plant and diploid plants are those having two sets of chromosomes in this sporophyte stage of the plant so we can say in the plant there are two stages in the life cycle of the plant so we can say there are gametophyte stage and sporophyte stage so main difference between the haploid and diploid plants is the haploid plants have single set of chromosomes in this sporophyte stage of the life cycle of the plant and uh, diploid plants have two uh, sets of chromosomes in this sporophyte stage of the plant then i'll discuss about the haploid so haploid may be divided into two broad categories monoploids and polyhaploids monoploids are those haploids having half the number of chromosomes from diploid species polyhaploids are those haploids having half the number of chromosomes from polyploid species next i'll discuss about the androgenesis so a so i'll discuss about the in vitro method so there are two process androgenesis and gametogenesis in the androgenesis production of haploid plants is occur through the help of the anthers and pollens next i'll discuss about the anther culture so in the anther cultures we'll take the flower buds and that flower bud is sterilized with the help of mercury chloride and double distilled water so anther is removed from this flower and that anther is placed on the solid agar medium after that that anther is developed into the embryoids and after the development of embryo there is the formation of shoots so that structure is developed into the haploid plants and this haploid plants is converted into the homozygous diploid plants with the help of the colchicin chemical so colchicin chemical is very important because that is very important because haploid plants is treated with colchicin to double their chromosomes before they flower next i'll discuss about the pollen culture so pollen culture is that type of culture from which haploid plants is produced so from the flowers we'll take the stamens and from the stamens we'll take the anthers so from this anther pollen is removed so pollen is placed on the medium so this is liquid medium and this is solid medium and after that embryoids are formed in this medium so from this embryoids homozygous diploid plants is generated so we can say there is a spontaneous doubled haploid so we can say spontaneous diploid plants from pollen culture may have arisen from spontaneous doubling of haploid cells in which case they would be homozygous next there is some advantage of pollen culture and controlled effect of anther wall are eliminated the sequence of androgenesis can be observed ideal for mutagenic studies high yields obtained so this is done today thank you